Welcome to Ever Metals, uh, your uh, your channel for all things RC and sometimes um, sometimes uh, quilting. Um, and uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, calibration of the uh, FL FLVS-01 voltage sensor, the analog voltage sensor uh, for the FR Sky system uh, for the telemetry or for for uh, receivers that uh, have telemetry capabilities and an analog uh, input. Um, I found that when I, when I had first purchased the uh, FR Sky system in the Tyrannus, the defaults um, uh, I found were a little bit confusing, uh, especially when you're setting up the, uh, the voltage uh, for, um, for your batteries. I found that there were two settings in there, the voltage, and there was another setting in there for the offset. And it was pre-filled with 5 volts, or whatever. Uh, and I found that uh, after playing around and reading the documentation, uh, I came to the conclusion that that offset was unnecessary. In fact, in one of the documentations, it says it's for third-party third party sensors. Uh, and since I don't have any third-party sensors, and I don't know of any, uh, that should always be set to zero. So um, if you're going in and trying to set your sensor, um, your, your radio, make sure that your offset is set to zero and you're just actually dealing with the voltage. You'll also find in the, in the documentation that there's uh, different dividers uh, and that depends on where you've actually soldered the positive lead onto your board. And uh, I'm just using the, since I'm using a, a, a 2, 3 and 4 cell battery, I find that the default 6 to 1 divider works very well for me. Uh, and now we're actually going to show um, uh, how we're going to uh, measure that. Uh, in your radio, when you're using the default, uh, the 6 to 1 divider, it is set to 19.8 volts. Uh, I've played around with that, but it's normally 19.7 to 19.9 volts, uh, you get a very accurate reading. How you know that is I've kind of created this little device with a switch on it that is in line to the battery in the ESC. That gives me the uh, continuous voltage reading, so I can compare my voltage reading of my the actual state of the battery to my radio. Uh, and I'm going to plug in my radio is on. Make sure with FR Sky and Trans or any FR Sky system that your radio is turned on before you power on your system, because on my other videos you saw the uh, the use of failsafe. If you power on your your plane. Uh, uh, you could actually initiate the failsafe system and your motor will start running and your control surfaces will move. So uh, my radio is on. I'm now going to plug in my unit. I have the, the, uh, I have the sensor plugged into my JST plug or the, uh, the balance plug on the uh, battery. Uh, I find that handy. I've also created adapters that allows me to move from a 2 to 3 to 4 cell, uh, depending on what I'm in, to make things a little bit more convenient for moving it from one uh, device to another. For example, the quad is a, primarily I find it works best with a 4 cell, uh, but for everything else it's pretty much a 3 cell type, type environment. So now let's plug in the, uh, in this case, the test plane, and power it on with my handy dandy switch. And now you can see that the uh, default, the, that the battery is running at 11.1 volt. 11 volts. And it's running, this is saying 11 volts because, because of the precision uh, on this one. If this is 11.05 or 11.04, it's still just going to say 11 volts, not 11.1 volts. So you'll find a little bit of discrepancy, uh, but it's, it's actually very close. So let's take a look at what happens when we actually power on. Our device. Now this is down now to 11 volts, and this uh, A1 reading is 10.97 volts. So they're very close. Uh, you'll find that um, uh, by playing around with those adjustments and using a similar device. But I think if you just set your defaults uh, to the 19.8 volts, your reading is going to be fairly accurate for everything you want to do. So I will actually paste on some of the screen settings uh, that I used uh, in the, in, uh, uh, for setting up my radio so you get uh, a little bit more detail. Uh, okay, let's take a few minutes to look at uh, where we would change this uh, 
on the uh, Tyrannus menu system. Uh, we'll simply page over. To, <laughs> first of all, we have to get to the model screen and page over to the second last screen, page 12, where it's under telemetry. And uh, press enter and change that bolt simply to 19.8 making sure your offset is set to zero. Uh, adjust your alarms uh, for a three cell. Uh, what I adjust my alarm to is uh, 10 points. Let me just finish this up here. Go to 19, 19, eight volts. And then I set my alarm Ignoring the offset, uh, my low alarm. I'm going to set that up to. Uh, I'm going to say 10.8. I'm going to say 11. Enter, and I'm going to make my critical warning uh, 10.75. Critical warning indicator. Uh, that's all there is to it. Um, simply uh, make those changes uh, to your system and uh, you'll be off and running. Uh, enjoy. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it solves some of your problems as you explore the world of, of FR Sky, uh, which I enjoy. Uh, but um, if you did, please uh, subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you very much and have a good day.